Hi there. Today I'm going to talk to you about the differences between Hawker Hurricane Grips made by the Dunlop company in the UK and also in Canada. This is the Canadian grip. What we'll do is we'll start with the Hawker um, Hurricane grip made in the UK by Dunlops. So here we have, this is probably one of the best ones ever that you'll see in condition wise. It came from an aircraft that was belly landed before the Second World War up in Scotland. So you can see it's the aluminium casting with AH2040 on it. This is the gun button here and that's in the safe position and you turn it round to the fire position like so and then you can depress it. Then what you've got also is on the other side you have the brake lever for the wheel brakes on the ground and then this beautiful stainless steel catch and then this is the pivot arm here and then these here are the gun tubes which are pneumatic. Now on the early Hurricanes they had an aluminium casting and on the later Hurricanes it still had the same part number of AH2040 but it then became a magnesium alloy. So um, it was an alloy of magnesium and aluminium. So unfortunately they crow quite a lot, whereas this one, even when they've been in crash aircraft and, and hit the ground, they are still in really good condition. Sometimes they suffer sort of intergranular corrosion, which you'll see on the cracks and things like that. So as I said, AH2040, and then the uh, Birmingham Bi Bicycle Company made some of the brake levers, but this is a very early one with the baton applied for. On the top of it, which shows it's early as well, is it says Dunlop pads are applied for as well. The particularly early Hurricane ones didn't have the slit in the um, stock to help it go on and off this. This is then a grease nipple, standard grease nipple. So when we move to the Hur uh, Hawk, Hawk Hurricane Canadian built grip, you'll see this is a magnesium alloy. It's a lot more chunkier. It's still got the brass tubes like this, but they are more, um, these bits are actually uh, um, soldered onto it. So you've still got the gun button, still with safe and fire. So you've still got the same action. Sorry, that one's particularly squeaky. And then on the other side, this is uh, the brake lever again. So exactly the same with the brake lever. And then it's got a braking brake, parking brake catch, which is basically made of uh, bent steel and you fold it over and then tack weld it. And that basically shows the the difference. So you can again see AH2040 on there. Not such a nice casting, not so quality covering. Um, it's the same sort of vulcanite covering that they had on the Dunlop grip made in the UK. Other differences are on this part of it. There's a CG number on the um, Dunlop UK built one. It's CG and then number, and that's unique to the grip if you like a, a serial number and on the Canadian ones they often have CGC or in this case actually CCG as opposed to CG. That's it. Hope you enjoyed this. So I'm Tony Dyer from the Air Defence Collection. If you want to ask any questions on any grips or things like that or any items in the collection please please send me a message through to my Facebook page which is the Air Defence Collection. So I hope you're keeping safe in these times and hope to hear from you soon. Thank you.